knowing now that you that you you know that you've looked at movies, were there, was there a movie or uh, something cinematically that inspired you, or was this purely a thematic thing? Well, I mean, to... you know, I didn't start to make this till 2001, so I was 40 years old by the time I started to really make it. I mean, that being said, we'd made a lot of music videos and stuff, so we knew our way around lighting and film and junk like that. Um, but imagine how many cool movies I was able to study and think about and be influenced by and all that really my, my whole life you know um, and I, I think the main uh, vision that stayed through it um, was when I was a teenager um, you know I have a big family and older brothers well doing drugs and staying out all night and all this we would come come in like it'd be like in the middle of the summer and we'd, we'd come in back from being out all night and my mother would be she acted like she never slept, but she'd be sitting on the couch watching old movies. Um, and one night we came in and she told us about this really sad, bizarre... Um, uh, she thought she'd seen a movie from the 40s. Um, and she couldn't remember if it was like a uh, submarine or some weird factory in the middle of some outpost somewhere, some battleship. She couldn't really remember, but she told this, this really moving sort of story about these these workers that were sort of trapped in this abandoned station or wherever it was and somehow they knew that they were going to die and they came to grips with that and, and had discovered a way that they could live with whatever mistakes that brought them to that and said look we our lives were worth living anyway and the minute they sort of found a way to to live with the unlivable this godlike creature showed up and my mother couldn't remember if it was like some being from outer space or God or a vision or whatever it was um, and me and my brothers um, thought, fuck, that's a cool movie. You have no idea what you just did. That's the problem. I'll tell you what you just did. We are fucked. We are fucked. I think we, I knew little by little, you know, this movie doesn't, it never really existed. Uh, my mother obviously uh, was sitting on the couch, a movie started, she fell asleep. She probably <laughs> dreamed something, woke up, another movie was playing out. She fell asleep again. And throughout the three or four hours she was on the couch, she probably saw a couple of different movies and probably fell asleep who knows how many times and filled in all the gaps with whatever her imagination wanted, you know? I mean, I've done that plenty of times. Um, but I think in a sense that when she told us about this movie, it, it, I, I, you know, it played in my mind like someday I'll see this and it played and played and played in there my whole life now. And I think once I knew that it wasn't really a movie, I kind of knew well, I'm just going to have to make that because, again, I, I'm not proud of this, but there is a sense of obsession with all stupid artists. In a sense, you just can't, you can't justify it. you got this thing in your mind, and you hope your friends will help you get it out of your mind, whether that's a painting or a novel or a movie or a bridge or, a, you know, whatever it is, you know. Adam Goldberg, yeah, uh, yeah. Fred Armisen, yeah, and yeah. Steve Burns yeah, are yeah. in the movie. Did yeah. you, so you had real actors to deal with. I mean, obviously you had your brother and the, the bandmates uh, and, and, and everything. And Steven is, is a good actor as well. But yeah, um, you know, when we started to make it, you got to remember, back in 2001, um, I mean, we've always attracted like-minded, you know, artists. And sure. some of them are actors and some of them are guys in bands or whatever. And we go to Los Angeles and New York enough where guys, if they're working there, you know, they'll come and see us and we'll talk or whatever. And then I think the friendship stayed long enough that, you know, at some point we're like, hey, would you want to be in this movie we're making? You're, you're a cool actor, you know. And I think um, it, they probably knew I was going to ask them eventually. And when I did, they were like, well, I thought, you, I thought you'd never ask. What the fuck, you know? <laughs> and so you, it's just, and it's such a relief. And to have real actors, not to say it diminishes my brothers or Steven or any of that, but have real actors there that can remember a, a page worth of dialogue um, is, is wonderful. When we did get to work with, with the real pros like, like uh, Adam and, and Steve Burns and, and, and Fred, um, you forget you're making a movie. You're kind of like, wow, these, the things they that they're, they're saying doing. are so alive right there in front of you that you forget. And you're like, oh yeah, cut, sorry, <laughs> we're making a movie here. And so um, some really magical nights making it. <laughs> <laughs>